You can make or break a child's uh, destiny by the interactions that you have with them. My name is Joe Tolls. I'm from, uh, originally from Long Island, New York, and I have uh, eight kids all together, but six that were adopted. This is Xavier, who's 27. This is Cremel, who's 25. <laughs> um, this is John, who's 19. This is uh, Cameron, who is 14. And this is Sincere, who is 13. Well, I grew up in foster care, and then I was on my own. Luckily, I had uh, supports outside of my home, which allowed me to go to college. And I became a therapist, a, a clinician. And I was waiting for that magic moment when everything would fall together and I'd have a family and I'd have kids. And years went by and that never happened. And then I started adopting kids and I adopted the first one and I really haven't stopped since then. I would say the biggest impact my dad has had uh, was just giving me another chance at life. Um, something that most people in the, in the foster care system and just the child care system in general uh, don't have. He actually gave me that opportunity and that was just enough to, no matter through the ups and downs, just to, to be able to become a man of my own. In this city alone, there are thousands of kids that are looking for a home. And I'm not talking about infants, I'm talking about teens. When they age out of the system, they have nowhere to go. Statistically, I should be in jail or dead, and I'm not, because I always had a place to go. That's what you prevent when you provide, forget about adoption, how about just a forever home? I came from a place that was like, a lot of abuse and stuff, like, I was going to group home, to group home, program to program. I didn't believe somebody actually would take me out of the group home. He actually came out of the way and just be like, yeah, I'll take you in. Like, I was like, I don't know what to say. When I initially came to the Tolls family, I was very lost. I didn't know a lot of what was going on. It changed me because there was always something about him that kept on pushing me just to like strive and do good as a person and just never let yourself down. In 2005, I uh, woke up one day uh, at a camp and I was there, at, was running camp and camps, as you know, overnight camps for sure are incredibly expensive. And I found myself thinking, my God, this would have been a great experience for me. Um, when I was growing up, but nobody was going to pay for it. And I went home, I rolled up my sleeves, I gathered all the people that I had known that I thought would care about the cause, became a, a, an official not-for-profit, and we ran the camp for four years. Joseph Tolls created Camp Resilience. I wanted to just get away. When I like come back, I'm not really going to have a home to like go home to. We have kids here who uh, have been in upwards to 25 different foster homes. And here, for at least a week, they get an opportunity to feel safe with somebody and know that they're accepted. Because of that, I started adopting kids. So I was sort of the battery of the actual running of this camp. And I'm getting old, so, you know, it was, I couldn't do two things at the same time. I'd love for the model to be replicated across the country. I feel like I'm gonna cry, but um, I, I, I do thank him so much for all that he's done for me in my life in general ever since he came to me. He just was very nurturing and just tried to do the best that he can, and he did. He's one of the greatest persons I know. I really love him, and I'm so grateful for, to have a dad like him. My dad is my Superman. That's all I have to say. I mean, Shout out to dad. We are a family. Good, bad, or indifferent, we are together. And there's nothing that can happen, from my perspective, that's gonna separate that. And they know that. They know that no matter what they do, no matter what they say, I'm gonna be there. That's fatherhood. I mean, shout out to dad.